Teresa, do you want to have a feel of that? It's totally soft. So the lung is, is the most fragile of the organs and therefore was, was really the last of the, of the major organs to be able to be transplanted. And this lung is alive. So while it's sitting here, it's not dying anymore. We're facilitating recovery. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it's interesting. It is. You got a good shot of it. It is. It's amazing. It is amazing. I, I will tweet this because. Oh uh, yes. No, it's fascinating. Yes, we're on Twitter. So are, are our lungs that color? I thought our lungs were redder. Yeah. So our lungs are slightly pinker, and if you live, uh, if you smoke, or you live in a polluted city, then there'll be little black spots on it. But this is sort of what a healthy young person's lung would look like. Part of the achievement here, and really the big breakthrough, was the fact that we can keep a lung at normal body temperature for a day now. Now this looks like science fiction to you, but it's not. We're doing this today. We have transplanted 30 patients using this technique, using lungs that we wouldn't have used, and now 30 people are alive because they got their lung transplant in the last year of so.